Hi everyone. It is Sarah Shipton here from Scrapbooking with Sarah. I'm coming live to you on Wednesday, May 1st with this week's scrapbooking challenge. I'm going to leave it um, a moment just to see if we've got anyone that joins us for the live today. I am going to start by saying thank you so much for being patient with me while I join you live today. Here's Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Thanks so much for joining us. It's great to see you. I hope you are well. I'm so excited to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for being patient. Let me tell you, it has been it has been such a fun day. Like, I'm so excited. We are here. Marion, hi. Thank you so much for watching. It's so great to see you live today in my scrapbooking group. Thanks for being here. I'm so excited to share with you guys. It's May 1st. Here's Miss Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Thanks so much for joining us. It's so great that you are here. It's May 1st, guys, which means I am coming live to you today as a brand new demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Who would ever have thought they would hear those words coming out of my mouth? How crazy is that? It's so crazy, but it's so exciting. I can't believe the day is finally here. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? Hi, Abby. Thanks so much for joining us. It's so great to see you online today. We are here. We are ready to rock and roll. And I am a brand new Stamping Up demonstrator. So I'm sure all of you have been following along at home. Close to my heart closed the operations for their makers yesterday as of April 30. And today I am a brand new demonstrator with Stampin' Up. So I actually signed up on the 4th of April. Um, but for the month of April behind the scenes, we've just been creating, getting ready to launch. We've been doing training. We've been working with products. And I am so excited to share this gorgeous paper suite with you all. It's called Unbounded Beauty. And this is going to be the paper suite that I'm going to be sharing with you for the first two weeks of May. Because, um, let me get the catalog here. This is the Stampin' Up! catalog. They do an annual catalog. And this catalog has gone live today on my website from May 1st and runs through a whole year until April 30 of 2025. And there is just a whole world of goodness, <laughs> crafty goodness here in this catalog, girls. If you are a VIP customer, were a VIP customer with me with Close to My Heart, and you place an online order on my website during May, you are going to get one of these catalogs added free to your order. Now, you don't need to add it to your order. You won't be prompted to add it to your order. The home office staff in the warehouse are going to manually add your copy of this catalog to your order. Uh, normally, the catalogs are $7. So if you are not a VIP customer, you can opt to add one of these to your order for $7 when you check out on my website or I will have catalogs on hand when I see you next at an event or if you've got a close to my heart order that you need to come and pick up from me when it's here, I will contact you. Doreen, I know we're waiting on some stuff for you and your daughter, so don't forget, uh, don't fear, I won't forget and I will be sure to contact you. You will be able to get your stamping up catalog from me directly, okay? So um, because the catalog runs for a whole year, the best thing about this is that the paper suites that are in this catalogue are actually available for the whole year that the catalogue is live. So a little bit different to what we were used to with Close to My Heart. We had a monthly featured paper collection. We will not have that with Stampin' Up. We are going to have, um, they call them um, suite collections. They call them a paper suite. So there is nine paper suites in this catalogue and it's really just going to be up to me as your demonstrator as to how I roll out the different paper suites to you, okay? So I know we've been used to working with a monthly featured paper collection. I do want to say, though, that for the first four months in May, June, July, and August, we are still going to have access to exclusive branded Close to My Heart products. So 
Before Close to My Heart made the announcement that they were going to be closing, they already had paper collections ready to launch for May, June and July, August in those um, bi-monthly catalogues. Stamping Up purchased those four months' worth of paper collections and they are going to be rolling them out on a month-to-month basis for May, June, July and August. Now, I have already shared the May paper collection, which is called Enjoy the Ride, digitally online. I don't have any hard copy of that product to share with you because we weren't initially going to have that product in our warehouse until the middle of this month. We have a warehouse here in Sydney with Stamping Up, which is great. But Close to My Heart and Stamping Up have been working so hard behind the scenes for us, they were able to make this product available to us and it went live on my website at 12.01 a.m. this morning, and yes, I stayed up to do my first order, and I have ordered the Close to My Heart branded product online last night. So I anticipate that I'm going to have that to be able to share with you at our event on May 11. So if you are booked in for my May 11 National Scrapbooking Day workshop, then I'm going to have that paper collection on hand and hopefully I would have had enough time to be able to create with it when it arrives here to me from Sydney. Turnaround time for Metro Adelaide is about one week from my experience with my starter kit, so I'm hoping that remains the same. However, they have just launched this beautiful new catalogue with a whole bunch of new product for May 1st and I know that they have been absolutely inundated today with orders online, which is really, really exciting. So because I didn't think I was going to have a paper collection to share with you, I actually chose something out of the catalogue to share for the month of May and I've been creating with that and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I've chose this particular paper collection because as many of you know, I attended an event at the Stamp It Up Home Office um, at the end of March and they presented us with their business opportunity and said we would love to have you join the family here is $460 worth of product to take home with you. And this is what they gave me. So I'm going to share this product to you with you today. And this is what you're going to see me creating with for the next two weeks and maybe even more. We've got it for a whole year, right? So this is the layout we are working with for this week's um scrapbooking challenge and we are using pattern number three from the close to my heart make it from your heart guide volume three if you've got this guide we are on page 72 i'm going to post this layout and also the instructions for this layout in my facebook group this afternoon i haven't done that yet so i will do that after this live now i have a extenuating policy where i can still share and sell close to my heart product until the end of this year. So you are going to see me work with the two products for the remainder of this year. You'll see me thread them together, show you how you can keep using the product that you've already invested in. Yes, of course, you can bring your Close to My Heart product with you to your workshops. There is no rules for you as my very valued customers. You can keep using that product, of course you can, 100%. And I'm going to give you some tips and ideas and some techniques on how you can blend in what you already have and you can combine it with the beautiful new product that we have. So I've got my work cut out for me, girls. Let me tell you, I have my work cut out for me, but I'm super excited. I'm up for the challenge and I can't wait to serve you. So pattern number 33, we are working with from the Make It From Your Heart Volume 3 book and We are actually introducing you to Pocket Plus Memory Protectors. Now, this is a Close to My Heart branded product. This is what we call a Close to My Heart Pocket Protector. And you can see that I have this sitting here in the middle of my scrapbooking layout. And there are some holes here in the Pocket Plus Memory Protector. So it works the same way in your postbound or your D-ring album. It works the same way as your traditional 12 by 12 memory protector in that it will sit here in the middle of my layout and it will turn like a page in my album. How cool is that? So you can use these memory protectors in either your D-ring or your postbound album, which is really exciting. And these layouts actually in the back of the Make It From Your Heart book. So from page 67 onwards, 
it talks about if you've got more photos to add, why not try the Pocket Plus memory protectors? So this is what we call pocket scrapbooking, okay? And the reason I wanted to share the Pocket Plus memory protectors with you is that Stamping Up actually have pocket scrapbooking cards in their catalogue. So this is super exciting. They call this range Memories and More. If you check out the pocket scrapbooking cards in the catalogue online, it's on page 26 and 27 of the online catalogue. Or you could just type in um, pocket scrapbooking and the search function on my website and those pocket scrapbooking um, cards will come up. So the pocket scrapbooking cards I'm working with today are part of the paper suite Unbounded Beauty. So I wanted to show you how you could incorporate pocket scrapbooking cards into your um, layouts. You won't see them here where the paper suite is, unfortunately, um, but they are at the front of the catalogue, okay? And it says here Unbounded Beauty. So I know that it coordinates with the Unbounded Beauty paper suite. They actually gave me the pocket scrapbooking cards as part of the product um, that they sent me home with, which was really exciting. And I've been playing with those. So you can see that they coordinate beautifully with the colours. Now, let's talk about the coordinating colours with this particular paper suite, Unbounded Beauty. Just like we are used to with the Close to My Heart catalogues, there is a colour chart at the bottom of the paper suite which tells you which of their colours coordinate with their pattern paper. They call their pattern paper um, we. I need to say we now, not they, right? <laughs> we call our pattern paper designer series paper. So this is traditional 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper that is patterned and they coordinate their colours with that designer series paper. So can you see I've already had my nails done, ready for our first live girls this month. Pretty in pink. I've got some of the stamping pads here. They also sent me home with these, which was fabulous. So we've got um, Pretty in Pink. We have uh, Peach Pie. We've got Shy Shamrock. We have Summer Splash. And we've also got uh, Petunia Pop. So I've already opened up and played with some of these um, stamp pads. They work a little bit differently to the ones that we are used to. When you get your stamp pads, the colour sticker is actually um, behind the plastic on your stamp pad because um, we are in 11 countries worldwide, so these are in other languages. So you're going to peel the plastic off your stamp pad and then you've got these stickers in behind the plastic here and you can peel them off in the language that um, is pertinent to you, English, <laughs> and you can pop your sticker on the front of your stamp pad and also the back of your stamp pad. So when you've got this in your organiser, you'll be able to locate the colour stamp pad you're using really quickly and easily. Now, these stamp pads work a little bit differently in that you will open your stamp pad up like so, and then you will slide your stamp pad into, um, I guess, the base of that. This is the lid. So you're going to slide that stamp pad into the lid like so, and it will lock in there. So a little bit different to what we're used to. Now, if you are going to be purchasing the Close to My Heart branded um, uh, products during May, you will be able to get the ink pads in the colours that coordinate with that paper collection. So, for example, Limeade and Honey Butter are two of the colours. So, you will still be able to buy um, some selection of ink pads and cardstock that have been manufactured by Close to My Heart during the month of May to coordinate with that paper collection. So you can see this is how our magnetic stamp pads work with and um, which many of you have been used to. You've got the recessed lid here. You also have a recessed lid here with this particular ink pad. It's in the inside bit here. So we're going to slide that in and that's how you would sit your stamp pad to do your inking. Now, I will say there is a little bit of a variation in this particular product. This ink pad is super juicy, girls. And I have had some of my customers and team members tell me that they have purchased stamping up pads before and they've had them for years and they are still as juicy. Um, and, and I want to say wet. It's quite um, a damp ink pad, whereas the Close to My Heart ink pads are actually made of felt, very unique to the manufacturing with this particular product. So this is a felt ink pad. Oh, Oh my gosh, I just got ink on my layout. Oh, well, I'm going to have to um, 
<laughs> oh no, I'm going to have to put an embellishment over there or no one's going to notice that it's scrapbooking. I've just popped that here on my um, paper. See girls, I make mistakes too, right? This is what happens in the world of crafting, okay? So the ink pads um, slide in um, and fall. <laughs> I know, right, Abby? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's okay. We'll figure something out with that, okay? We can we can fix that mistake. Um, okay, so that's how they slide in like so, all right? Now, you can buy re-inkers for your stamping pads, girls, but it's going to be some time before you need them because they're really great quality, super juicy. That's what they call them. They actually say the inks are juicy. So that's why I'm saying the word juicy. Um, okay, so they are the stamp pads. And I have done some stamping on my layout here. I've actually got this in my memory protector. So um, I've also used a flip flap on the top of my scrapbooking layout for um, this week's challenge. Now, the flip flaps are going to be carried over. Um, this is a product that Stampin' Up! are going to be carrying over and incorporating into the product range. We don't have them just yet, but when we have them, I will be sure to let you know. The Pocket Plus memory protectors are not going to be carried over. Now, I know that my Close to My Heart Maker account finished yesterday. If you've got VIP credit still to redeem or you want to get the Pocket Plus protectors, these are actually on sale um, on the Close to My Heart website. However, they've shut the website down until May 4. So if you were to go on there now, you won't be able to order on there, okay? Um, but if you do have some of these Pocket Plus memory protectors left, then I would encourage you to use them up. I did stock up on these and I'm waiting on an order of Pocket Plus memory protectors. Um, with the anticipation that I was going to share them in this week's scrapbooking challenge. So when I see you next, if you want to come and grab some memory protector pocket plus uh, protectors from me, you'll be able to get them in my um, from my stock. I'm allowed to sell that close to my heart product until the end of this year. Okay, so let's take out my layout here. So I want to share this with you. So I've got my flip flap there on top. I've talked about flip flaps many times before. This is a self-adhering strip and you stick that over the top of your memory protector and it covers your photo. I always put my favourite photo or the photo that's most related to the story. So this is my friend Katrina and we are celebrating her 50th birthday. This was a few years ago. We're celebrating her 50th birthday. So of course I had to put the birthday girl on top with my flip flap girls. And underneath here, I've got another photo of us girls and this beautiful um, floral um, photo frame opportunity that my friends um, created. And you can see here, my girlfriends are here with the photo frame. We're getting some great photo opportunities there. This is why I chose this beautiful paper collection to work with these photos for my friend Katrina's 50th birthday because the colours in the photos the beautiful pinks and the flowers. There's a little bit of teal with the Tiffany bag. My friend Melissa's got this gorgeous pink shirt on. There's a little bit of pink here in Yazzie's dress. So how fun that I've incorporated those colours in my photos into my scrapbooking layout here. So I have done some stamping here using the colours um, Pretty in Pink and also Summer Splash. Okay, so I've made a little bit of a stamping embellishment here to create my journal box. I've just ruled my journaling lines here. I've used the cardstock here in um, Summer Splash. Sorry, Pretty in Pink. I've used the cardstock Pretty in Pink here and here on the layout. I'm going to share some of the other pattern papers and cardstock with you shortly. Um, so they did send me home with some cardstock. Now, if you have got cardstock, close to my heart, cardstock still in stock, and I obviously still have cardstock here, don't stress out too much. We are going to have a color comparison chart to share with you and help you to coordinate the close to my heart colors with the Stampin' Up! colors and you can blend those two families together beautifully. Stampin' Up! have 50 different colors in their product range, which is fantastic, but you can also incorporate your current cardstock that you've got in with a paper suite um, as well, girls, okay? So don't stress too much about that. So I have done some stamping embellishment here. I've also done some stamping here, uh, the word happy birthday. No stickers with this paper suite. So I had to think a little bit outside the box with my embellishments. You can see here I've created this embellishment cluster using some die cuts. I'm going to share those with you um, in just a moment. So I've cut the flowers out in um, white daisy and in summer splash cardstock and also in pretty in pink cardstock. And then I've just created this embellishment cluster here. 
Now, you're probably looking at these thin cuts here thinking, how did you get them stuck down? Now, for many of you, um, you would have a quickie glue pen. I am almost out of my quickie glue pen. And this is one of the products that's been retired with close to my heart. So I ordered one of the fine tip glue pens with Stampin' Up! And I am straight up obsessed with this. Why? Well, for a start, it actually has the... Um, the, the fine tip connection at the top that I can put that straight back into so my glue pen does not clog up, okay? It's not a separate purchase that you need to buy. And when you want to use your glue pen, it's really easy because the tip is beautiful and fine. I was able to just put little dobs of glue onto these smaller pieces and I threaded them together to make one big embellishment and then I've just overlapped that over the top of my die cut here, stamped that, and then I've got some flower die cuts here I've cut out as well, okay? So I had to get a little bit creative with the embellishment because I do love stickers, but trust me, girls, stickers are coming. We've still got stickers with the exclusive Close to My Heart brand and product, but stickers are coming. So for this layout, I've embellished using my die cuts and also these cute little um, dots. So these are resin dots. These are what we call the in colors. So from 2024 to 2026, these are the in colors. You might have seen me post them already on my website. So we've got five in colors. And these are very similar to what we used to have in Close to My Heart, which we called um, color of the year. Okay, so these are the in trend colors. And those are the beautiful ones there. So these all coordinate with your papers, your designer series paper, your embellishments. There's even ribbons, girls, and twine in this in colours as well. And um, pocket scrapbooking cards I'm going to share with you. And I've also ordered these gems in the glitter as well because we all love shiny stuff, right? So this is a resin embellishment. So um, it's... Uh, it's soft, okay, uh, resin, and then I've used them here as my little embellishment clusters, and I've also put some smaller resin dots just on my flowers here. This is the designer series pattern paper, and here, instead of a zip strip, so this is another thing with the designer series paper, there is no zip strips. Um, I'm going to share the papers with you in just a moment. So instead of using a zip strip here, this was a half inch bit of paper that talks about using a zip strip instead of using a zip strip i have cut my glitter paper at half an inch and i've used the glitter paper on my layout here okay now as i mentioned i was a little challenged for the embellishments so i actually got creative and i used the pocket scrapbooking cards as my embellishments so you can see here this is a little three by four inch pocket card there's um, lots of different pocket cards that coordinate with this paper suite. And a little bit different to Close to My Heart, so you've got um, a landscape on this side and then on the other side you've got a portrait, but the pattern is different. It's not the same, okay? So it has got a different pattern on the back, which was a little bit different to the pocket scrapbooking cards we're used to. So because I didn't have any stickers and I was limited with my embellishments, I actually cut up some of my pocket scrapbooking cards to use on my layout. So you can see here, I've cut out um, using one of the die cuts, the XO. And then on another card, I've just cut these down at one inches. And I've used the XO XO at the top here and also at the bottom here for embellishments in lieu of stickers, okay? The other embellishing I've done on this side, I've cut some more of the um, floral die cuts. There is a special name for those. They are called the Flowers of Beauty dies. I'm going to share the stamp sets and the die cuts with you in just a moment. So I've created this beautiful floral cluster here. And this time, I've actually cut out one of the dies. I've stamped on the top. So we had happy birthday with one stamp. We had may all your wishes come true with another stamp. And then this time I've just popped the die over the top of my embellishment cluster and I've used some foam tape, some 3D foam tape over the top of this embellishment cluster here. Um, I've popped some of the little flower die cuts over the top and then I've put some resin dots here just as my embellishing. So whilst I was challenged 
by not having the stickers. I think my layout has turned out beautifully with the embellishments. What do you think, girls? Hope has joined us. Hi, Hope. How are you? It's great to see you online today. I'm going to slide this back into my memory protector. Memory protectors are coming too, girls, so I'm super excited about that. Now, um, coming back to the challenge, if you use a memory protector Pocket Plus with your layout um, this week, you'll get a bonus ticket into the draw. Now, um, obviously, you girls are not going to have Unbounded Beauty to create with, so I want you to use any of your paper collection this week for the weekly scrapbooking challenge. You will get a ticket for every layout you create into the draw, and you'll get a bonus ticket if you use a Memory Protector Pocket Plus, and it doesn't matter what size you choose to use. So here I've used the design where you can get landscape photos um, on both the back and the front. But I don't know if you've noticed, I didn't have enough landscape photos. So these are actually portrait photos. I've cut down into three by four inches and I've stuck them onto the back of my four by six inch landscape photo. Okay, so that's just a little tip for you and something I love to do that if I don't have the correct orientation of photograph, you can always cut your photos down um, and you can oh, you can use that instead. So we're just sliding that in for the Pocket Plus. I've got some landscape photos here. Here is a um, pocket scrapbooking card. So I have used quite a lot of my um, pocket scrapbooking cards. We've got the little three by four inch ones here in the Unbounded Beauty. You can see I've cut some of these down um, already. I'm gonna share those with you in a moment. And these are some of the four by six inch ones. So different patterns on the back, girls. Um, one way you've got your uh, landscape and then you've got your, oh, that's just got a pattern on the back with the sentiment there. Okay, so a combination of both four by six inch and three by four inch pocket scrapbooking cards. So that is the um, layout for this week. Here is another example where I didn't have enough landscape photos. So this is the back of that pocket scrapbooking card there. And this photo I've just cut down four by four inch and I've stuck it right over the top. So this is like a little embellishment. I had some of these other flower dies that I had um, punched out and then I've just embellished them with the flowers and I've used some um, 3D foam tape just to pop that up. So I hope that you like how I have embellished that layout and given you some ideas. Miss Sonia has joined us as well. Hi, Sonia. Thanks for coming online today. So because I was using the dies, what I did was I cut out a whole heap of little extra flowers and borders. You can see here um, I've cut out some circles out of the um, Picture My Life cards as well. I just cut out a whole heap of extra ones so I could have on hand because I've got the whole year to create with these. So super, super fun. All right, so what I want to get into now, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video than um, what we do usually on a week-to-week -week basis because I'm sharing these beautiful new products with you. I want to show you the stamp sets and the die cuts that come, um, how they come packaged, okay? So these stamps and dies are um, coordinating with this paper suite, Unbounded Beauty, the thing I really love about the stamp sets is you can purchase the stamp set just on its own and you can also purchase the, I've got this around the wrong way, you can also purchase the die cuts on their own. So you can purchase these individually from one another, but then you can also purchase them as a bundle and you can save money, okay? So you get a 10% discount if you buy the stamp set and the die cut as a bundle, okay? So they sent me home from Salt Lake City with these to play with. So let's have a look at the stamps. They do come packaged a little bit differently than what we are used to. So this is kind of like a DVD case. Um, I do know that they're going to be updating the packaging, so that's something fun to look forward to. They've got a picture of the stamps here um, on the front. Now, the stamps actually come on a carrier sheet like so with another sheet over the top. However, I have peeled them off my carrier sheet and I've actually stuck them on the inside of my case so I know what stamp correlates with what design, all right? There is no foam square like you are used to that comes with the stamp set. So please make sure you hang on to your foam squares from your Close to My Heart stamp sets. 
Um, I do like to use the foam square, but of course you've got your Versamat. Um, Stampin' Up also sell a mat, a silicon type mat or a, a stamping type mat. Um, I haven't had a look too much at that yet. So the stamps are quite similar. Um, they are made of um, photopolymer. So there's a whole information about the stamp sets on my website as well, but very similar to the ones that you used to. And, oh, there we go. I've got that on there. You can also use um, the same blocks, girls, that you've got, um, the stamp chamois that you've got to clean your stamps. You can use the same one. Um, Stampin' Up also sell um, a stamp chamois and a brush and a spritz cleaner as well. So you can definitely use the blocks that you've already got. Um, and, of course, you can use the cleaners that you've already got as well. Okay. So I did use this stamp set here on my layout. So I've just stamped a little bit of a um, embellishment here on the journal box. And I've also used this stamp set. Now, these sentiments are made for card making because you can see they're quite small. So please stay tuned because we are going to get larger stamp sets for scrapbooking. And I've actually used the stamp sets. I've peeled them off and I've stuck them on the inside of the case so then they coordinate with the saying, right? It's a little bit tricky because they're not up the right way and where they are here on the packaging does not match where it is inside there. So um, I just I will have to use my eyes <laughs> for that. But this is where I've stamped. So I've used um, a die to stamp, a die to cut, a little um, embellishment and then stamped happy birthday here. And then I've used the same die and stamped may all your wishes come true. So smaller stamps designed for sentiments with card making. But I wanted to show you how you could use them with your scrapbooking. You guys have got lots of stamps that you can incorporate, of course. Now, let's share the dies with you. So this is how the dies come. So they come in a six by six envelope pack. And the dies are designed to make clean cuts and crisp score lines. You can use your um, embossing machine that you already have, but Stampin' Up! do actually sell a Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, which is excellent. And of course, you can use a shim or run the die um, through your machine more than once to get the results that you want. Now, I used my existing die cutting and embossing machine that I already have. I bought the close to my heart one. Um, and the dies work, they cut perfectly in my machine, okay? So if you've got a close to my heart die cutting machine, you can use these dies in your machine. If you haven't invested in a machine, you'll be able to save up. We've got a die cutting and a bossing machine and also a mini one. Now, this is how the dies come. So they are not on a magnetic carrier sheet like you were used to. They come on a six by six piece of card and the card has got adhesive on here. So you do have to peel your um, die cut off. So great quality, very similar, fantastic quality to what we are used to, girls. What I'm actually going to do is because these dies coordinate with um, my uh, stamp set, uh, what I've seen some people do is they actually take the dies off their sheet and they put them in the case with the stamp set. So that's going to be a good tip for you if you want to do that. I have also seen some of my fellow um, close to my heart makers that have transitioned across to Stamping Up. You can buy the magnetic carrier sheets online from um, like Amazon. Um, you can cut them down and you could actually put the magnetic carrier sheet inside your stamp container and then you could put your die cuts on the magnetic carrier sheet so they're sitting here coordinated with your stamp set so that's something i need to do a little bit more research on because i do like the idea of having them on a magnetic carrier sheet rather than rolling around in um that container like so okay so that is the die cut set that coordinates with that stamp set and this die cut set um, coordinates with this stamp set. So these are mostly uh, frames and floral dies where you can use obviously on cards mostly, um, but you can see where I've incorporated these dies into my scrapbooking layout here, okay? So again, you could take your dies off this six by six sheet of card and put them inside the um, container there like so. 
Alrighty, we are getting there, girls. Thank you so much for your patience. Are we still following along? Trudy's joined us. Hi, Trudy. How are you? Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, so let me show you some of this paper and this cardstock. Um, I will post this layout in our scrapbooking group afterwards. So let's have a look at this. Alrighty, so I'm going to share some of the papers with you. Now, um, as I mentioned, there's no zip strips on your designer series paper. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, no zip strips. Your 12 by 12 sheet of paper comes um, shrink wrapped like this. So um, they love the idea of the zip strips. Obviously, it would mean if we introduce those, they would have to change their packaging. Um, so what my suggestion is to you is if you don't have any 12 by 12 paper envelopes to store and organize your paper in, you could hang on to the um, bags that your close to my heart pattern paper came in um, to organize your paper. I think I have seen 12 by 12 inch paper envelopes with Stampin' Up! So you'll have to sit tight with me. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to the product because the range is massive, girls. It's bigger than what we were used to. So I'm excited. So I'm just going to share some of the papers with you. So the designer series paper, these are some colors that I've not yet used. The designer series paper, um, you get 12 sheets in a pack and you get two of six patterns. Okay, so you get more paper in this paper pack and you can see you've got enough here to be able to coordinate that up with um, your layouts. If I wanted to do a double page spread. You've got plenty of paper there to choose from. These are some other colours I've cut down. So that's what I've got left of my designer series paper. And then when you purchase the cardstock, so this is the um, In Colours cardstock pack. The cardstock pack is actually, all the cardstock is at the back of the catalogue. And I purchased a packet of the In Colours and with this 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock, I got 20 sheets. So because there's only five colors, I've actually got four of each of these colors to work with. Okay. So um, I think I bought this. Yes, I did buy it. I bought this in my starter kit. Now the cardstock is not two tone like you are used to, but there is going to be a change to that. And they are switching to two tone cardstock, which I love. So I'm not going to worry about turning that over like I would normally because um, it's just a uh, single colour and it's solid colour all the way through. So there's no white core with this cardstock at the moment, but they are switching to two-tone white core cardstock, which is super exciting. So we've got Peach Pie. Let's see how well I am at the, mem uh, the names. Shy Shamrock. We have got Petunia Pop, which is a purple. We've got Summer Splash and we've got Pretty and Pink. How did I do, girls? I got it all right. And you can see that I've used some of this cardstock already. So plenty there. And then I also got the Unbounded Beauty glitter paper. And the thing I love about this glitter paper, so it's not transferable, it's actually a little bit thinner than the glitter paper that we've previously been using. It's So it's quite um, generous with your paper trimmer blades. So there's no transfer on here. I did find when I um, initially cut it, there was a little bit of glitter that was coming off initially once I'd cut it, okay? But it wasn't too crazy. I'm really annoyed about dropping that ink pad on there, girls. Um, but you know what? I'm kind of also glad that that happened because you get to actually see that I make boo-boos too. So we've got the – you get one colour, one sheet – of each colour. Um, am I missing a colour? One, two, three, four, five. No, that's the five colours. So that's the glitter paper. Love, 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 love. And that is all the product to share with you from the Unbounded Beauty. Oh, no, there's one more thing I got uh, for the Unbounded Beauty. So with these in colours, I also bought the 6x6 designer series paper stack. Now, we have worked with 6 by 6 inch papers before and you're going to see me do some more fun things with these. So this comes in all of the in colours. You get 40 sheets for 
Really great value price point, girls. Okay, I'm really happy. You guys are going to be happy too. So um, you can see you've just got um, some generic patterns here, stripes and circles, a floral pattern on the back. Um, I don't really know what you would call that pattern. It's a bit of a diagonal one. But you've got all the colors here. So I've been having fun playing with these. Really easy to use, obviously, for card making. But I am going to be showing you how you can incorporate the 6 by 6 inch papers into a scrapbooking. And you want to be careful here, not like me, and sit your paper on the top of the adhesive strip because it will tear, okay? will stick on there. So that is the 6 by 6 inch designer series paper, um, which I love, love, love. And this is a cute little card that... Um, my friend made me with the new papers say yes to new adventures we're going on a new adventure and just in closing um i wanted to who remembers this scrapbooking layout that we did not long ago um this was one of our weekly challenges just a couple of weeks ago and this particular challenge actually was meant to incorporate pocket scrapbooking cards here and so what I did was I recreated this layout using the Unbounded Beauty paper collection but I also incorporated the pocket scrapbooking cards. So it's exactly the same layout but this time I have used the pocket scrapbooking cards. What do you think girls? This is the card stock as the base so I've actually used cardstock for the base and then I have stamped that floral stamp that I shared with you um, earlier. I've actually stamped that down through the middle here. Um, it's this stamp here and I've used pretty in pink, pretty in pink for the ink. So I've stamped that down there. This is a pocket scrapbooking card. This is a pocket scrapbooking card. This and this is a pocket scrapbooking card. So I love, because you actually got four of each of the same cards in the pack. So I was able to use a pocket scrapbooking card here, here, and here. Um, I've put printed paper on the side, no zip strip. So I've trimmed down the shy shamrock glitter paper here to incorporate that. And no embellishments. So I had to get creative with embellishments, girls. And this is where... I have trimmed down the pocket scrapbooking cards that I was sharing with you earlier. I have used the die cuts to cut out circles with the pocket scrapbooking cards, to cut out some sentiments with the pocket scrapbooking cards. This I've just trimmed down to make it look like it's washi tape or a sticker over the top of my journal box. I've added some of the little resin dots here and here. And then here, these were also pocket scrapbooking cards. So you can see where I have cut out um, here the XOXO using a die cut. And then I have fussy cut the word hooray out of one of the four by six inch pocket scrapbooking cards. So I had to get a little bit creative with my embellishments because there was no stickers, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you. This was a layout that we did a couple of weeks ago but I'm now recreating the exact same layout but using the pocket scrapbooking cards. So fun. And I'm going to give you a quick little sneak peek on next week's scrapbooking layout challenge. So this is going to be pattern number 34 where they also use the Pocket Plus memory protectors. No flowers here, girls. This is a holiday photo. These photos were taken in Noosa Lembongan. Lembongan. Lembongan, Sarah. Noosa Lembongan. And we have got the peach pie. We have got the summer splash. I've used craft paper through here. I'm still working on this one, as you can see. I'm going to have a little journal box that's going to go in here. So I've used the three by four inch pocket scrapbooking cards. And this week, I'm going to be showing you how to scrap your stash and use some of your older embellishments. This here is from the No Worries paper collection. So I've been having to create with some other products while I've been waiting to order as I've not been able to order until last night. This will stamp here and then I've got a flip flap over the top here 
And then I've also got a memory protector pocket plus through the middle here for my three by four inch photos. How cool is that girls? So that exact same paper collection, but I've used it for a holiday, a tropical holiday layout. So I need to think about um, my title that I'm going to stamp here and some more embellishments, but I'm using some old close to my heart product here as well as the resin dots. I've cut out some circles using the um circle dies not the flowers of beauty we are using the other ones uh the unbounded love dies okay so again using the embellishments that you would normally pop on cards some little ones here i'm going to play around with that so that was a lot right thank you so much for sticking it out girls i hope you have enjoyed this week's live video with the scrapbooking weekly challenges if you are on my email list i have sent an email this morning with all the links to my new website i've updated all my social media platforms last night and it's still scrapbooking with sarah shipton it's just now as a stampin up demonstrator so i want to take this opportunity to thank you all for continuing on this scrapbooking journey with me i'm still as passionate as ever about sharing memories with you, about encouraging you to print your photos and tell your stories, girls. It is so, so, so important to do that. Um, my beautiful daughter, Kaylee, here, her 21st birthday. So don't forget to print those photos, tell your stories and get confident with your creativity by using these beautiful products. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week, everyone. And I look forward to seeing what you are going to do for this week's scrapbooking challenge a bonus ticket into the drawer if you use one of the memory protector pocket plus jump on the website girls have a look at all the beautiful new product you've got access to have a great week everyone i will see you next week thanks for watching